In 12 on Health, a local surgeon says new data provides further proof that when you go for a tan, you set yourself up for DNA damage to your skin. He had a history of a changing mole, and he also had a history of using tanning booths. When I used to do some beds, um, okay, maybe once or twice a week, um, but in the end of it, after having this, it's not worth it. This and is, he's talking about well, skin cancer. This patient says he has paid the price for decades of tanning because he didn't want to look pale. This dark mole with jagged edges on his arm turned out to be melanoma. Dr. Ibrahimi removed the mole and the healthy tissue around it, which is standard to make sure all cancerous cells are removed. Now, five weeks later, take a look. Dr. Ibrahimi says he's glad the patient's incision is healing well. And most importantly, he says the patient's cancer was removed before it had a chance to spread. If they're fair-skinned, um, uh, family history of melanoma, uh, they have many moles. Those are all things that predispose you to developing a melanoma. For more information on risk factors and to get a look at various types of skin cancer lesions so you know what they look like, just go to our website, news12.com.